do you find Priscilla that students these days are are um, more interested in, in the morphology or is it is it easier well, to find students who want to do the sequencing yeah. type work I, at least well, for example when I was uh, looking for undergraduate students to work here in the lab you know it, when I first advertised it I sort of doing taxonomy and everything I did not get a single application but then I advertised it as, do you want to get experience in molecular biology? Hmm. I got like a hundred <laughs> applications. And they all wanted to learn molecular biology. Mm -hmm. And then you snuck the, the morphology in well, on them? Well, no, they're not, <laughs> uh, you know, not, not right now. <laughs> no? <laughs> no, right now they're, you know, we need a lot of help just doing that part, which, you know, because we have hundreds of things we have to see. So right now they're more, you know, more research assistants, you know, undergraduate research assistants. Right. But, you know, when you talk, tell them you want to do taxonomy of fungi, nobody wants to do taxonomy why do you, Why do you think that is? Why do you think there's only s certain special students who are interested in doing the morphological work and, and so many that, that want to learn the molecular I, techniques? I think they, like me, and I don't, I don't know Catalina exactly, but I mean, you know, we, we were exposed to the organism first. Hmm and then learn the molecular things. You know, I think we learned, we learned how to look at them and you know, how pretty they are and how important they are causing plant diseases and all kinds of things. So we were exposed to that work you know, in their natural habitats. And then we wanted to know more detail, more about these organisms. So then we learned, we came here to learn more sophisticated techniques because I would never have learned all these molecular schematics in Costa Rica. Mm. There's nobody there that does that. Right. So, you know, sort of then I learned that. But I think now, I mean, undergraduate students, they do not get exposed to a lot of the organismal, sort of, unless they are large mammals or, you know, plants. But for example, with fungi, when I was at Howard, I just people when I would teach mycology at the last in the last year in a four hundred level course, they were all seniors. They already knew what they wanted to do. Eighty percent wanted to go to medical school mm -hmm. and they didn't really even know what mycology was. Mm -hmm. So I think these things you know you have to get people interested from the beginning, even in high school, elementary school, and or the first years in college when they can still maybe make up their minds later to do something like systematics. 